Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be covering the end of the Terraria server, what happened on it, and how far we actually managed to get. If you want to see the previous videos in the series, you can click right here, subscribe if you want to, and let's get into it. So first up I want to mention I got this really cool item, which just sends these spores to kill things, which is sick. And then using those, I went through the dungeon for the first time and just killed a lot of things, but I didn't really get anything decent. After that, we all trekked through the forest temple and prepared to fight the golem. This fight was actually kind of shocking. We were all going in thinking this was going to be super easy, but the space was really small and the golem's attacks would span a huge area, including his projectiles. So it was pretty hard to avoid anything he was doing. And one by one, everyone else died, and at that point it was just impossible to avoid anything he was doing. So I died pretty quickly too. After that, we all took a good long nap and then woke up in time to do this pumpkin moon. This is the first time I've ever done it and it's a pretty unique fight. Also, this guy was just following me around, which is super annoying. But overall, even though we did all die like a dozen times, it was pretty cool. I didn't get enough wood to make anything good though. One cool thing I did get, though, was the Witch's Broom, which means we finally have a flying mount. So, that's pretty sick. I no longer have to worry about platforms and all that when fighting giant bosses. I then spent a huge amount of time just clearing all the black out of the sky, just mapping it all out. I don't know why I did this, and it took a ridiculous amount of time. And after like 20-30 minutes of this, I finally mapped out half the sky and decided to give up. Then we tried Gollum again, and the result was the same. I tried running in the end, but that, that didn't work either. And we just kept on trying, and believe it or not, we all kept on dying, so that's cool. But then someone came up with a plan that I honestly didn't think would work. The first step was having a house nearby where we could all set our spawns, then we built this multi-leveled arena just next to the temple, and then we had one person go into the temple, spawn the boss, and then we had it phase through the wall to attack all of us. I honestly didn't think he could do this, so it was a big shock when he actually jumped through the wall, so somehow that worked. And having this much extra space made the fight so much easier. Because while we did die, we also took him out. And from there, it was super easy to just keep knocking him down time after time that I think people rarely even died the next four or five times we took this thing on. After that, I said that we'll have to close the server, but I'd be leaving it open until the server closed down. But that's when something crazy happened. Within half an hour, the people who were left on the server had already taken down Moonlord, which is insane. So, a couple days later, I joined, and wow, this place changed real quick. We've got like a thousand chests and this giant eye thing in the middle of our base. And we've just got these nice minecart rails through the entire world, which is sick. And so, to cap off the adventure, we spawned in Moonlord. I definitely shouldn't have done this with my hollow armor, because I was just a sitting duck. I was just flying around, and any hit was doing like half health for me. So I just had to try and fly around, avoiding whatever I could. Everyone else was of course doing these mega attacks on this thing, which is fantastic. But it didn't go super great for me. I ended up dying two or three times, but at the end of the day, we did actually defeat him. So that's crazy. We actually managed to beat the game before I had to close down the servers forever. So, thank you guys so much for watching this series, I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to, be good people, and I hope you have a fantastic day.